Aquarius, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'll also use my pendulum to um, answer three yes or no questions. So make sure when you go into the extended that you have your yes or no questions ready. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's extremely beneficial for you and bonus. It's completely free and then you'll get notified all things Aquarius, which is exciting because I do Aquarius readings every single week. Okay, I'll pull some Oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. I do have a contest going on right now if you're interested in a free tarot reading and that video is at the end of this one. Okay, narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. Great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. What you're not seeing. Distant thunder, clear the air. Okay, so I feel like if you're not careful, Get all you, okay, okay, it's coming in really strong. Give me a second. Um, you need to make sure that you have all of your, um, okay, okay, okay. All of the possible scenarios taken care of, all, the, all of the tiny details taken care of, because if you don't have all of them taken care of, then there will be an issue. That's why you got the tread thoughtfully and the distant thunder. I, I don't feel so. And I also believe that you're not going to be able to get the answers that you seek by taking action. I think that's why you got the lie back, rest and relax is because like you have to go deep within your thoughts and like stop thinking about the problem to be like, oh, you know, this is something that we have to make sure that we take care of. If you can figure out and you can make sure to have all the details squared away and all of the information squared away, then everything will be fine. But if you're not careful and you don't have all of the details solidified before you take action into this, then you're going to have like a, a sticky situation. I'll lay all of the cards down and then I'll go over them. Nine of Cups, your reading came in like fast and furious today, Aquarius. Ace of Cups. I get that every once in a while. Nine of Wands. Four of Swords. Again, this is the, the taking a time out card. Six of Pentacles. King of Swords and the overall energy. Five of Pentacles. See, this is exactly this distant thunder that I'm concerned about. And that's what the, the energy is. It's like you're working on something that makes you happy. You're handling it with love. You're letting things go. You're taking a time out. You're doing what you need to do. But I also feel like it, these details, there's a couple of details that you're missing. There's some details that you're missing about. For some of you, this could be a project. For some of you, this could be the purchase of a home. For some of you, like, this is like something big. Creating a business. You know, it's like every possible scenario, every possible detail of these situations. Like, make sure you have all of them handled. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Fool, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. You know, and it could also be, uh, it could also be one of those things, you know, this totally reminds me of the Terminator. So the Terminator movies, like they're trying to constantly prevent the situation from happening. They're constantly preventing the situation from happening. And then the final movie, they're like, oh, it was never, you were never able to prevent it. The destruction of everything, it was never preventable. It was just surviving. And so like, it could be one of those situations is what it might be like with the Terminator. It might just be like just the fact that you're surviving the situation and you're getting through it. And I'm really feeling like this might have already happened. If you have gone through a very difficult time, 
it already happened. If you haven't gone through a difficult time, then make sure you have all of your ducks in a row. Just, you know, prepare for the best, hope for, or prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Nine of Cups. Lovers. Eight of Cups. High Priestess. You know, it's, um, I do think like, you know, there is like a knowing of possible scenarios. It's like, there's hopeful, you know, very wishful, hopeful feeling here of like, you know, I hope everything turns out and no matter what, I'll be okay. And, but you have to make a decision to walk towards your truth. You have to make a decision to walk towards, um, knowledge. Whoops. I feel like there's somebody coming in. Hmm. So this is interesting. When I pulled these two knights, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, they're facing each other. The Knight of Wands is facing the past, but the Knight of Cups is facing the future. And it's almost like you need to leave your anger and frustration and resentment for the situations in the past. And that's exactly what the Five of Cups is all about, too. That's about regrets. Ace of Cups. There is a potential for a lot of love. There is a potential for joy. There is a potential for... Um, moving on, nine of wands, eight of swords. Oh, okay. This makes so much sense. The reason, the only reason that the five of pentacles will happen is if that's what you keep focusing on. That's why we had to go through this whole scenario of me sitting here, you know, oh, you know, you have to prepare, you have to prepare because that's what you're already doing. You're already preparing, you're already preparing, you're already focused on, you know what, this is a possible scenario, this is a possible scenario. And because that's what you're focused on, that's what you get. That's why the universe, I was like, this is so weird that it would have like the Fool, the Eight of Wands, and then the Ten of Cups. Like, what, what is going on here? But the overall energy, we were, we were programmed as humans to think of the worst case scenario of what could possibly happen because, you know, we had to fight the saber tooth tiger. We had to keep the fire going. We had to do all of these things to be able to survive. And so we had to have fear. We had to have like kind of a negative mindset because that pre prevented us from walking off the cliff that prevented us from, you know, not letting the fire go out. It's one of those things like that negative mindset, but you're not in those like dire situations anymore. You're not in life or death situations anymore. And so the universe is trying to tell you that you have to do something new. You have to learn how to communicate more happiness and more joy into these situations. That's the, that's why you have to clear the air. That's why you have to start focusing on the positive because you're focusing. It's like you focusing on the negative. It, when you sit there and be like, of course my tire, I got a flat tire. You know, it's, the worst possible time for me to get something like that. Of course this happened. Of course, like sitting there focusing on the negative, that's why it happens. That's why it always happens is because you are holding yourself back by sitting there focusing on the negative. You're focusing on the negative. Temperance and three of pentacles. The universe is trying to tell you, you gotta do, start doing things differently. You, you really need to learn how to control that, um, that urge to think negative. Be more conscious of your thoughts. There's a healing that needs to happen here. Being very authentic and aware of the divorce of your unconscious thinking. There really needs to be a serious, like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm changing the way that I'm thinking. I am a creator. I am a manifester. I am able to heal this. I am able to prevent that situation. By focusing on the positive, by focusing on the good. <clears throat> That's why we had to go this complete 180 with this reading. So that way you could see, oh, you know, that's what I'm doing. I do make sure that I focus on all of these things. I do. This is what I'm doing. Like, is there another possible scenario and that anxiety that you feel about? Oh, my God, what did I forget? What did I forget? You know, there's something else I have to worry about. But that's just it. That worry brings in more situations 
that are worrisome. Six of Pentacles, Chariot, Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Pentacles. This could be a financial situation. This could be about your job. This could be about your home. Whatever this is, it's like you can only think so far in the future. You can only prepare so far in the future. And it's like, you know, handle what you can. Do regular maintenance that you're supposed to. to you know, preventative things that you're supposed to. But if something happens, it happens. You know, you... you you have to handle it when it happens. You can't always prevent everything from happening. King of Swords. And not being upset when those things happen. You know, just making sure, like, in knowing. Having enough confidence and knowledge in yourself and knowing, like, I did prepare for this. I did prepare for the worst. You know, I didn't know what the worst case scenario was going to be, but I'm prepared for it. I have enough of my savings to handle this situation. I have enough knowledge to fix this situation. I have enough of whatever the resources that you have, you have enough of it to be able to fix it. So that's why you need to stop focusing on the negative, stop focusing on the things that can happen, and be in the here and now. That's why you got this watching clouds, this great adventure, is because that's what you're missing, is you're so focused on the distant thunder, you're so focused on the fighting, you're so focused on the possible situations that you're not even seeing. And I feel like, honestly, that this reading is a tower moment for you of like, oh, yeah, you know what, I do have enough in my savings to handle it. And if I don't, then, you know, I'll take out a loan. Or I, I have not good enough credit to be able to take out a loan. It's like, Sitting there coming into that realization of, I am safe right here, right now. I am safe right here, right now. Right now, I am safe. And it's like, that is going to help with your anxiety. That is going to help with those difficult situations. Okay, Aquarius. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'm also going to answer three yes or no questions with the pendulum. So make sure you come in with your questions. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's completely free, added bonus, and it's beneficial for you because then you get notified all things Aquarius. Uh, I am doing a drawing right now, a contest for a free tarot reading, so if you are interested in that, a video is going to pop up here, and I will see you over there.